Manually hand drawing maps at the table doesn't really immerse your players in their surroundings, and creating more impressive maps can be time consuming and expensive, especially when you try to design a modular terrain to introduce players once they explore certain regions. With D20 Pro, we can provide immersive maps with Fog of War to keep your players in suspense for what's around the corner or behind a closed door. In this video, we'll go over basic Fog of War, advanced Fog of War, and using the Map Markers feature. Basic Fog of War is useful for easily creating explorable maps. This is best used when you want to prepare a map on the fly or when you have limited prep time. To create this Basic Fog of War, we go to the D20 Pro main menu, then select Game Tools. Then make sure to be on the Fog of War mode and click the Easy tab. From here, press the Create Easy Fog of War button and you're set for the players to start exploring. Now when your players can see the room or a hallway, we can just select the Fog of War option as Show. Then rectangular select the area we want to show the player. Now here is what the player sees on their side. And as the players explore more of the map, we can review more of the areas. And if we make a mistake, we can always switch to the hide mode and cover our mistake. Advanced Fog of War is useful when you have a map that you'll be using multiple times with multiple groups, or if you're going to be publishing an adventure with explorable maps in the D20 Pro Marketplace. Advanced Fog of War allows for easy one-click reveal for an entire room or Fog of War region, with an option to react to players' movement so the GM doesn't have to manage the Fog of War, provided, of course, that the players don't abuse it. To create Advanced Fog of War, from the Game Tools window in the Fog of War mode, we go to the Draw tab. Next, we will pick the point of our Fog of War polygon region. Holding the Shift key while moving the mouse cursor will allow us to keep straight lines. And to close the region, click on the originating point. We continue this process for all rooms and hallways of our map, and you can create as complex or as simple of regions as you would like. To take advantage of the Hide Negative Space option, we're going to make sure to create Fog of War region to the areas that the players will see originally as well. Now to show the region under the Fog of War, we can select the region from the Game Tools Fog of War window and press Show. Or we can use the Visibility tab and single click on the region we wish to show the players. If we make a mistake, simply re-click once on the Fog of War region to hide it. Make sure to transmit the latest state of your game to your players, or have one of your players move their creature token to update the game. Remember to name your Fog of War regions, especially if you're wanting to publish this map in the D20 Pro Marketplace. Map markers can help create a great map. To create a map marker, from the Game Tools window, select Map Markers. Then, where you want the map marker to be placed, we left-click, then select Create Marker. From here, you can enter the name, type, and description. Next, select from the drop-down the size, the style, the icon to use, the layer, the visibility to the players, and if you want a top or bottom label. On this map, we will be creating the room numbers and adding text inside the description so we can easily send to the game log as box text room descriptions with one click. We can also create secret doors, then change its visibility once the player is searched successfully. In addition, we can create a pointer and move it freely on the map to help with our descriptions of specific locations on the map. And an easy way to control player visibility is using the icons in the map marker section. A red eye means the marker is invisible and no player can see the marker. A green eye means the marker can be seen by the players. This has been a D20 Pro video tutorial. For more information, visit us online at d20pro.com.